Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Max Hans, and I'm the project manager for the City of Fort Worth-led Capital Delivery Stormwater Division's Greenleaf Sump Outfall Project. Um, I'm going to do a quick little project overview, and if you do not mind, please keep your mics muted to the end of the presentation. At that time, we'll have a chance for questions if there are any. So the project location is just south of White Settlement Road, just east of, or excuse me, just west of downtown and north of 7th Street. Uh, overall, I wanted to give you guys a, just an inside look into the overall program. Uh, this project, Greenleaf Sump, shown in orange on the bottom left corner of the screen, is actually part of a larger um, system of projects for relocating and rehabbing existing stormwater infrastructure within the area of the future bypass channel that will be led and constructed in conjunction with uh, Trinity Regional Water District and the Army Corps of Engineers. Um, in total, we've got about six projects that will be partially led by either TRWD and or City of Fort Worth um, in conjunction with the bypass channel, just to get our infrastructure relocated ahead of time of them to start their construction project. For a quick little overview of the Fort Worth Central City program, uh, this is a partnership between the Army Corps of Engineers and TRWD. Um, City of Fort Worth is also involved in this partnership. Um, the reasons for this program, again, is to relocate the stormwater infrastructure ahead of the Corps' future bypass channel construction project. Um, in conjunction with all these relocations that are necessary for the bypass channel, there is a reimbursement plan um, in place between TRWD, uh, the Corps, and the City of Fort Worth for reimbursement of all the construction and project management related expenses for these projects. Jumping into a quick description of the, this project in general, the Greenleaf Sump. Uh, the scope is to construct a new outfall to the future bypass channel. So this project will be built in the dry uh, in the sense that it will not be functioning until the future bypass channel is built. So once that bypass channel is constructed, this outfall will be uh, fully functioning. Um, in the interim condition, this will be connecting into the existing storm drain system um, at the intersection of Greenleaf and Kansas Street. Um, but as of now, until the bypass channel is fully functioning, uh, the existing system that currently drains the Kansas and Greenleaf intersection will be operational until um, the Corps gets their project underway. Um, anticipated project construction schedule, we anticipate starting next month with the duration being about one year. The construction cost uh, for this project is $6 million. And with that, I'm opening the floor to questions. Um, again, my name is Max Aronson. Uh, the contractor for this project is going to be SJ Lewis. The contact is on the phone as well. His name is Steve Stamos, and both of our contact informations are located on the screen. So if you have any questions, please feel free to unmute your mics now. Okay, with that, it seems like there's no questions from the group today. Um, again, if you do have any questions in the future, please feel free to reach out to myself. My email and contact information is on the screen. Um, but at this point, we can go ahead and conclude the meeting and a recording will be uploaded to the websites.